Hello, my name is Peter Romney, and this is my presentation on Benny and the Jets. It's a presentation about ethical obligations. Benny and the Jets is a great example of whether or not a mid-level employee uh, at a company should blow the whistle or not. How should it be done? I'm going to talk about the steps a young man took, a young employee took, um, or would take when he suspects or she suspects fraud or an error in the financial statements. <clears throat> so Benny and the Jets um, is a story of where Benny has been an accounting manager at Jet Energy for two years. In his time there, he has learned two things. The company rates are determined by an outside board from the state and if the income is below 12.5% of uh, rate of return on, on operating income from its electricity, the rates will be decreased by the board. Um, some rebates to customers have been booked to a non-operating account while premiums are expensed to another account causing an understatement to operating income. The, um the understatement will keep the rates of electricity higher to the customer, which in turn keeps revenue high for jet energy. Benny understands what the company is doing to keep its revenues high, and he feels at this time that he should blow the whistle. The good news for Benny is that he has options for whistleblowing. Jet has an internal audit team that reports to the board of directors. Um, now he just needs to determine how he should go about blowing the whistle. So what should Benny do? Benny needs to consider taking his concern to um, his supervisor first. Um, many of these things seem like common sense, but if not considered out properly first, uh, it could cost him his job and his reputation. Benny has a duty to all of the stakeholders in Jet Energy to search the truth and make it known. He is doing the right thing by bringing the attention, bringing it to the attention of someone he trusts outside the company, as it mentions in the story. Doing this will create an open dialogue of whether or not what the company is doing is wrong. From the details given, it sounds like it is wrong, and uh, it's the wrong way to book the rebates of the transactions. But it's always good to make sure by counseling someone else. Benny was on the job for two years, so he didn't have a ton of experience. Because it sounds wrong, Benny needs to find the best way about making it known. Uh, one should never jump to conclusions, should jump to conclusions and should always take the approach of asking questions and understanding to supervisors. So Benny definitely needs to talk to his supervisors first. If that doesn't work, then he can go to the internal audit team. So this is uh, a process that the book lays out by DeGeorge um, of all the considerations of whistleblowing. And he lays them out in, in five simple steps. Uh, the first is the firm's actions will do serious and considerable harm to others. In this case, the harm is to the consumers who um, use the electricity. The second one is whistleblowing act is justifiable once the employer reports it to his or her immediate supervisor and makes the moral concerns known. The third is absent any action by the supervisor, the employee should take the matter all the way to the board if necessary. We discussed that a little bit already. And number four, make sure there's documented evidence and it must, it must exist that would convince a reasonable and impartial observer that one's view of the situation is correct and that the serious harm may occur. And fifth and final, the employee must reasonably believe that going public or making it known will create the necessary change 
to protect the public or the consumers, all the stakeholders, and it's worth the risk to oneself. Um, if Benny considers those things before he does this, then he's going to be just fine. Uh, so what Benner, what levers does Benny have? The financial statements, he has very clear evidence there. And also, if he takes it to his supervisors first and his outside discussions with his friend, he'll have everything um, that he needs um, to levy uh, his argument. And my final advice to Benny would be to remember who you are and what you stand for. And even if you make mistakes, um, doing the right thing is what matters the most.